Relapse in children with cancer means that there's a recurrence of their cancer or their tumor after a period of time when um, they were disease-free. The most common reason a cancer recurs is that there are some cells that are not sensitive to the therapy or tumor cells that were remained after a surgical procedure. If it's come back, there is some inherent resistance to the best treatment approaches that we have. That doesn't mean to say that there is no treatment when a cancer recurs. For many types of cancer, we have excellent treatments at the time of relapse, but other tumors can be more challenging to treat. The Developmental Therapeutics Team at Texas Children's Cancer Center is a multidisciplinary team who's focused on the treatment of children with recurrence or relapse of their cancer. The Developmental Therapeutics Program at Texas Children's Cancer Center consists of a large number of researchers, including clinical and translational laboratory researchers and physicians who take care of patients who are receiving investigational drugs. we're able to offer children all of the cutting edge therapies that are available anywhere in North America or really anywhere in the world. At any given time, we have several dozen phase one and two studies open. Most of the time, a phase one or a phase two trial is most appropriate for a patient who's already had therapy, but that therapy hasn't worked as well as we hoped and the disease has come back or relapsed. For a few diseases, there is not good frontline therapy at all, and in those settings, a child with cancer might have his or her initial therapy on a phase two or a phase one study. There are three phases of therapy. Phase one is where we're testing new treatments to see what the right dose is and what side effects we might expect from the treatment. In phase two, we're now trying to learn more about the specific tumors that the treatments or drugs are best for. And then in phase three, we're introducing those promising new treatments up front and seeing if we can make the outcome better for initial treatment. To develop a new anti-cancer treatment and move it all the way from a good idea in the laboratory into frontline treatment for a child with cancer can take as long as 10 to 15 years. However, as we've gained new insights, especially into molecular biology and the mechanisms of disease, we have begun to have breakthroughs where we can move therapies much more quickly from an understanding of the basic biology of the disease into an actual effective treatment for a patient with cancer. We are a member of all of the major national cooperative groups. We are a phase one center for both the Children's Oncology Group and the Pediatric Brain Tumor Consortium, both of which are National Cancer Institute funded North American consortia for developing new therapies. Families who are interested in receiving new drugs or new treatments are able to do that here. Families who just want a second opinion or an additional, an additional consultation about what kind of treatments might be available to them are also able to do that here. So we can provide the full spectrum of services to families whose children have relapsed cancer.